Hey there, my name is Wallens. Welcome to Prey. Ooh, I'm really not too sure what I'm getting into today. Originally, I was gonna go try out the demo, but um, this game has been out for two weeks by now, and I figured, eh, well, I've seen enough people say good things about it to feel comfortable just jumping right in. So I've completely forgotten the demo. I don't know what this is about at all. I've never played the original Prey. I've never played System Shock, which I hear is what Prey is based on. But I have played the later two Deus Exes and Bioshock. And I've heard that they have similar elements, so maybe that will prepare me for what's about to happen? <laughs> I'm honestly a little bit uncomfortable right now because, as I understand it, there are horror elements to this game. Uh, what that entails, I don't really know. If it's something like Bioshock, maybe I can handle it. If it's anything more than that, I'm not really sure. But I guess the one way to find out if my fears are justified is to simply start. Easy, normal, hard nightmare. <laughs> Nothing can save you, alright. Uh, yeah, I think my horror will have a grand time keeping me occupied already, so I'm just gonna, just gonna try normal. Ooh. Male or female? Oh yeah, this picture! I've seen this picture as an ad so many times. Like, um, this guy looking into the mirror and then his eyes are like red or something. I've seen this ad so often in the past few months. What is that? Hmm. Well, uh, I don't really care, but I guess I'll go with the female. Sure, why not? <gasps> My apartment. 2032. Oh yeah, the only thing I know is that we are in a space station. And things don't go well. <laughs> Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen, I am uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Is that my dad or something? Oh. When I when I thought that we were gonna be at a space station, this isn't really what I was expecting to see. A bright blue sky. Hmm. So that's our main quest. First day on the job. Put on my uniform. Alex convinced me. I'm going to join him abroad the Talus 1 space station. Ah, we're not there yet. The work we're doing up there is too good to pass up. Plus, he says he's got a surprise. I have to jump through some hoops at the training center before I board the shuttle. Okay. I don't got anything. Okay, so just looking at the general layout of everything, kinda deus exy. Uh huh. Guess we should look around. Hands on electronics. Excerpt from the preface to Hands on Electronics by Antoinette Sokol. By working through a series of practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to the fundamentals of modern analog and digital electronics. By the end, you will be able to construct any simple circuit. As Thomas Edison once said, to invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. Oh, okay. Am I am I a scientist? Seems kind of sciency. This is my humble apartment. Ah, oh, kind of get the feeling I'm fairly rich, actually. Hmm. Use plastic tubing. Frayed wire. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Neuromod application instructions. Warning. Neuromods should only be administered by certified Transstar technicians. Am I one? That's my company, right? Transstar? 
under controlled conditions. Subject may experience slight discomfort, swelling, or redness of the eye shortly afterward. Oh. Oh. Wait. The Neuromod... You put it in your eye. Oh, you press it against your eye for five minutes. Maybe that's the thing that makes my eye all red and stuff. A Neuromod. Okay. Alright. Pile of junk. We're getting the junk right here. Burnt circuit board. Oh, I can climb this. Interesting. This is my work area. I got a lot of crap here. Oh. I drink? Don't really wanna- Oh no! Oh, I thought that was gonna crack. Can I put this back? I guess not? Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Whoa. Oh, I think I need a little bit of time to get used to walking around like this. Holy crap. I've got six monitors. Seven! Is that me knowing my own password? F paradox. Does that mean something? Tutorial. Workstations. Many Transtar employees have private workstations. Lock stations require a password. Search the environment for clues or use the hacking ability to bypass the login. Workstations may contain email, files to download, or special utilities. Uh-huh, okay, so that's definitely reminiscent of Deus Ex. And I know the password. Ah, I can get into like a zoomed-in view to see this. Cool. Okay, just getting used to the controls here a little bit. Three emails. Congrats and welcome from Thomas Tucker. To me, CCing Alex. Alex is somebody related to me. My dad? Hello, Morgan. So glad to hear you'll be coming abroad aboard soon. Your first official workday is Monday, March 15th, today. But first, we have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you for life in orbit. Exciting times ahead! Have a good flight and I'll see you soon. Yeah, <laughs> I bet. This guy's HR at Talus 1. Delivery from Alex. Hey, I sent the package with everything you'll need for your first day. Uniform, transcribe, and a neuromod. Ooh. Install the neuromod right away as we'll be running some tests first thing in the morning. Just following the instructions, I'll be in touch. Did I do that already? From Alex. Ready? Oh, okay, so maybe... Okay, not my dad. He looked kind of old, okay, so... But it seems like maybe he's my brother. Hey, just got off the phone with mom and dad. They won't be there when the shuttle departs. They'll be in New York. Company stuff. But they send their best. I think mom's a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside her gravitational pull at the same time. She said you'd better behave and do everything your big brother says. Okay, actually, she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. So, there you go, that's mom. Anyway, everyone's excited about your ideas up here. There, so get ready. I'll prob call you in the morning to make sure you're up. See you very, very soon, Morgan. Alex. Well, judging by how old my brother is, I must be pretty damn old too. Uh, okay, eight in the morning, we should probably get ready for work. Utilities, files, none. Alright. What is this thing? Some abstract scientist nerdy painting? I don't know. Oh. Oh, I can't take that. Alright. I got a huge work area here. I must be a huge nerd. Yes, because huge areas, huge work areas equals huge nerd. There is my uniform. Mm -hmm. How do I get to my inventory normally? I. Okay, cool. I guess we don't have to worry too much about this right now. Material yield. Is that money? There's two things though. Hmm. Okay. I'm sure they'll teach us in due time. The method science. Excerpt from Architects of the Neurological Revolution. What if I told you I could turn you into a mathematician on the level of Einstein in under 10 minutes? I'd say you're full of it. That's the first thought that crosses my mind. But it withers in the face of Alex Yu's conviction. Despite myself, I'm riveted. He's not bullshitting me. Himself? Maybe. Me? No. Alex leans back in his chair. 
Welcome to the age of the Neuromod. So Neuromod, just like the name implies, is something that modifies your brain. Makes you smarter in some cases. Hmm. That's a magazine. They wrote it like a novel. Am I like a super nerd? I don't know, I feel really damn nerdy. <laughs> Heart of the Walk. <laughs> Excerpt from Chapter 5 from Heart of the Walk by P. Pseudo. P. Pseudo? Pseudo? <laughs> Cooking with a well-seasoned wok can be a sublime, almost spiritual experience. The many layers of the blackened surface are like stored memories of the meals, of all the meals, that have gone in and out of the carbon steel bowl before, now imparting echoes of their rich flavor to every new meal it is tasked to cook. So I did notice earlier that Morgan's last name is Yu. That is, um, I believe that is a Chinese last name. And woks. Woks are a Chinese instrument. So maybe that's why she has this book here. Not that non-Chinese people can't use woks. It's just that that's where it comes from. And oh my god, is that a red envelope? There you go. She's Chinese. <laughs> that's a very Asian thing. Ah, it's the year of the rat. That's the Chinese character for rat. That's probably mail from my parents. Okay, let me look at this more... in a more orderly way. Congrats, Morgan! Thanks! Thanks, Alex! <laughs> Ooh! Is that the Talus One symbol? The... on the cup. Who the heck makes the inside of a cup golden? That's so... Oh! Count. Can I not... <clears throat> Best I can do. Rice cooker? This is so Chinese looking. <laughs> Encyclopedia of Food Science and Cooking. Trans glutaminase. TG or T gaze. <laughs> A naturally occurring enzyme found in plants, animals, and bacteria. TG is often used to bond protein containing foods together and in the production of foods such as imitation crab meat and fish balls. Known colloquially, by chefs as meat glue. Chef Shaw's tip. Gluing chicken skin to salmon will actually protect the outside of the salmon from overcooking. I don't know anything about cooking, so I don't know if this is... This has any truth to it or not. 2033? Oh, that's this year's edition. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, so Morgan seems to be pretty science-minded, so I guess she applies that to everything she does in her life. Makes sense, makes sense. Hmm. I thought I was searching the sink or something. <laughs> Am I searching the cabinet here? Oh, but I can preview it already, so I don't actually need to go in like that. Oh. I have some things I can't carry. Sky King Pomegranate. Okay. Cold Mountain Green Tea. Oh, I can't- I can't lift the fridge, I think. That's the problem. Cool. Reading some letters from mom. Can I zoom in, in any way? Doesn't seem so, alright. No fish? Just plants? That's cool. Fish are hard work. Glucicist. I can eat this. Does eating it give me health? Okay. Alright. Kings and way sparkling wine. I don't think we want to drink on the first day of the job, so let's just take it. <gasps> okay. My purse? Am I bringing my purse to work? Monday? March 15th. Is that what controllers of the future look like? Whoa. Well, the crouching is really fast. <laughs> that looks like some sort of like a uh, secondhand Mad Cat's controller or something. Oh, there's my family. Me? My brother? Mom? Dad? Business people? They're in New York and they're busy. Galactic... Five or four! Con... Wait. <laughs> Galactic Conquistadors... Con... Oh, whatever. Whatever. It's something... Something fun. Principles of Neuroscience, 10th edition. This girl's a real nerd. The brain was once considered too warm, wet, and noisy for seemingly delicate quantum processes. 
However, the discovery of quantum coherence in biological processes such as plant photosynthesis, avian navigation, and our own sense of smell paved the way for the eventual discovery of quantum vibrations inside the microtubules of neurons. So advances in neuroscience. Cool. Hmm. Oh, no. Is that broken? <gasps> Did I break it? There's a little crack on the side, I think. Oh, whatever. I have a problem with the placement of this chair. It doesn't make sense to sit here with a TV behind you like that. Why would you not put the chair over here? I don't know. I don't- I don't trust this girl's sense of architecture and, um, furniture placement. <laughs> Shower? Do I need one before- before we go to work? Oh. Is it just me or is something flashing here? Some texture problems? Well, hope I took my clothes off. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I can see my legs. Cool. <laughs> I can't see myself, though. Honestly? This looks more like a hotel than a home. I don't know, it just seems very... Not that used. Too clean. Necklaces, my favorite necklaces. Nothing in here, of course. Oh. Ah, okay, that would have made it easier. Oh. Don't generally like to see the piping on my home. That kind of... feel like that lowers the property value of it. <laughs> okay, I think we're just about ready to get to work. Because if we don't, if we don't, we're probably going to be late. My trusty shoes. Is there like... Oh, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I think... Ooh. Fancy... Oh, this is like a tree, but it's actually a brain or something. Like the... the blood vessels and the neurons. Ganglion cells! Oh my god, nerve fiber. This girl's a real nerd. <laughs> She's really nerdy. Ooh. Almost missed this! Oh, how do I zoom in? Please let me zoom in. Oh my god. She's got loads of red envelopes. Greetings from Austin, Texas. Kennedy Space Center. The Great Wall of China. And there is a Chinese space shuttle going off. I wonder if those are postcards that her parents send to her, or like Alex sends to her, or somebody. <laughs> you can tell it's somebody from her family, though, because she keeps it with the red envelopes. Uh, that's something that elderly people give to younger people, for those who aren't familiar with the whole Chinese New Year tradition. Mm -hmm. You know, overall, it's a really nice home, but I'm not really digging how the pipes show like that. I don't know, it just kind of ruins the aesthetic of the whole thing. Ah! Oh, it's jammed! What? Why? Why? Well, I guess that's that. Oh. Hmm. I wonder if we get to come back here later. If we're going to a space station, I wouldn't think so, but you never know, I guess. Well, 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 well. It is probably 8.05 at the very minimum by now, so let's get going. It's a nice home, but I don't even put my... I don't even put my uniform in the closet. Put it right at the door. Oh, get in the helicopter! <laughs> On my roof! Wow, I fancy. Dang fancy. Oh, yeah, we should turn off the lights and then we can get going. Alright. Oh. I live in an apartment. Mm hmm. Is this employee housing? 4509. Oh! That's the Talus 1 space station building, right? Didn't notice that earlier, but the, the symbol. The T. Cool. Morning, Miss Yu. Morning! 
Ooh, what are you doing? Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. How'd you know? You'll have to take the elevator. Down the hall. But you know that, I guess. M maybe I do, maybe I don't. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'll give it back. Oh, I messed up her lighting. I'm so sorry. Aren't you going to be late? You're supposed to keep going. <laughs> You're going to get me in trouble. I can't talk to you anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Patricia. Very sorry. 1 West 63rd Avenue. Notice from building management. Water pressure issues have been identified and are being resolved. We apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused. 45th floor. Hmm. We didn't notice any water issues. Everything seems to be in order. Okay, space to jump. Shift to sprint. Crouch, slide. Oh, that's fancy. Alright. Bye, Patricia. Echelon. Residential tower. <laughs> There's only two. It knows who I am. Wow. It's kind of creepy. So, 51st floor. We live on the 45th floor. That probably means we're pretty well off if we pay for this building, because the higher up, the more expensive it is, generally. Because of the better view. Ooh. Is that for me? It looks like a limo. It doesn't even look like a regular helicopter. Oh, wait, nobody's here. Is this automated? Ms. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Transtar facility is just a short hop. 78 degrees. Clear <laughs> skies all the way. Sphere distribution. ISO. Is this how they're going to do their credits? That's a nice view on the bay there. <laughs> An Arcane Studios production. What could go wrong? The view is so nice. It's a sunny day. First day on the job. It's going well so far. What could possibly go wrong? I said before my imminent doom. Where are we? Those mountains. Oh, there we are. The tower we were looking at earlier. It's like a 30 second helicopter ride. Pray. Here we are, Ms. Yu. Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Thanks. I must have struck it rich. My first day on the job and my company is picking me up in a helicopter. <laughs> or, either that or I'm really... I'm somebody pretty important. Hmm. Maybe both. Maybe both. Transtar. Oh, did it change? It said pray earlier. Interesting. Hello? Hello, Dr. Yu. Hello. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Did no one bother giving you a skin? Your innards are showing. Transtar has over a dozen state-of-the-art facilities across the globe. More, if you count the entire Earth-Moon system. It won't be long before you're on a shuttle bound for Talos 1. The last frontier. Sorry. The last frontier is the human- wait, what? Did it change? No, it didn't. 
The last frontier is the human mind, and we are its pioneers. William Yu! Is that my dad? My instruments are calibrated for high volume data analysis and live readings. Don't worry, nothing will be missed. Should I change position? Yes. <laughs> Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. Everyone's eager to see what you're capable of, Dr. Yu. I know I am. Dr. Yu. All our labs meet the minimum. It's, it's, it's strange. That's never happened before. I'll have to file a maintenance request. Please excuse me, Dr. Yu. Well, that's a great sign. I'm sure your brother is waiting for you. This is a robot, right? It sounds like a human, but it's a robot. The elevator will take you directly to the testing area. Is that my dad? They won't talk to me anymore. Hmm. I'm getting mixed impressions about this place. Like when I first walked in, I thought it was like, whoa, this is so sci-fi looking. But then you get these realistic stains on the place. So maybe, maybe this place isn't as rich as I thought it was. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. Appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Everything is automated. It's all like very realistic stains. Morgan, finally. Hey, big bro. Hey, you don't look terrible in a transfer uniform. Thanks. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your sister in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. What kind of tests are these? Dr. Yu. Earlier, when we were at home, I couldn't see in the mirror, so I couldn't see my red eye. But that was, that was what was in the beginning when we chose a character. <clears throat> okay, alright, I'm just... Can we talk? No? No, y'all want me to go? Okay, I won't waste your time. I wish I could show you what I've been working on. You better get in there before Bellamy gets impatient. <sighs> Bellamy. Oh. Wonder if that was a texture bug or intended. That's the same one. Testing rooms? I don't really know what I signed up for. Hello? Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Okay. Just bring it- do I bring it here, or...? Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. I think they're testing my motor skills. After installing the mod. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. What am I hiding from, though? What's the thing I'm hiding from coming from? 
Because that makes a difference. If you're coming from here, I'm going to hide away from you. I don't know. Like behind the chip. <laughs> oh, God. Well, that's not working. In the corner? I oh, my. Excuse me. Excuse me. You said I can take my time. I don't know. Freaking... <laughs> I don't know who I'm hiding from. Like, you are... Morgan, we can see you there. Oh, you... Hmm, uh... <laughs> Any synaptic register? At all? <laughs> no? Well, that's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. I disappointed them. Hey, there was no room to hide in here. What the hell were- I think they wanted me to, like, stand behind the chair, maybe. Well, you know what? I just call myself a outside-the-box thinker, okay? <laughs> All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most- natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. Ah, uh, okay. Well, jumping across is the most natural way, right? I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Mm -hmm. Simon? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? Speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Whatever they want the mod to do, it's not working. I'm supposed to exhibit some sort of... alternate behavior. This is the most intuitive way for humans. But I don't know what they did to me. <laughs> Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. It's getting stressed. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Okay. I have pressed it. Okay. <sighs> You're planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar you know you love or try something new. Um... Uh, new? <sighs> oh my god. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? I'm afraid. I don't know what will happen. That's heavy stuff. A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there's one person tied to the second track. No no mention about how this one person is the person I love? <laughs> okay. Good. Next. A runaway train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man. Pushing him onto the track would stop the train. And that's killing him. Mm. It's like testing my morality or something. Almost done. A runaway train is bearing down on five people tied to a track. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. <laughs> I can still push the fat man here. N no, I don't want to die. Interesting. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. Hmm? For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. Oh! In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh... Is this my coffee? It's empty. Whoa! Oh my god! Security! Security! What the fuck?! Oh! Was I supposed to run? I thought I heard noises, and then... Oh my god. Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. 
Was that my fault? They said they didn't me? Because they thought I did it? Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Ah. Uh, what the hell? There is an uncomfortable ringing in my ears. I'm sure you can hear that. Why am I back here, more importantly? All my previous items are gone. Guess I'm taking them again. Oh. That's different. Uh... Okay. That noise is really getting to me. I don't feel good. I don't feel good. Not at all. Not at all. An account of Fermi's question. Hey, I didn't see this earlier. Excerpt from a book on the existence of extraterrestrial intelligence. <laughs> By Dr. Robert James III. Consider that there are billions of stars in the galaxy like our sun, many of them far older. Some of these stars will have Earth-like planets, some of these planets may have developed intelligent life, some intelligent life may develop interstellar travel. If a civilization began before ours, it seems possible, even probable, that even at the speed of the currently envisioned interstellar travel, they could already have the entire galaxy colonized. The problem is, we haven't detected any such civilizations, nor have any contacted us. Why? I don't know. Do I want to know? Oh, there's other books here that I didn't read earlier. Consciousness, the fire in the equations. The nature of consciousness remains deeply mysterious. How can the subjective nature of experience, my inner life, be explained in scientific terms? Does consciousness emerge from complex computations among brain neurons, or is it a fundamental and irreducible property woven into the fabric of the universe? Oh, this is, um... This is a Chinese poem. Uh, but my Chinese isn't so good that I can translate this off the bat, so why don't I Google this right now? I think it'll be worth the time. I've definitely studied this before though, so it's not... It's not something uncommon. It's a fairly famous poem. Actually, you can see the English title right there, too, but let's look at it anyway. On the Stork Tower. The white sun sets behind the mountains, and the yellow river flows into the sea. To see a thousand mile view, you have to go up another floor. So the first two lines are really just talking about the view, but the overall, the overall sentiment of the poem is to say that you need to take it up a notch to get to where you want to be. If you want to see the view, you have to go up another floor. Something like that. <laughs> don't, don't quote me on this. So these ones were here before, but was that here before? I remember playing with a cup, but other than that, I don't know anymore. I'm still quite nervous right now. Oh, the courier. I still can't see myself. It still works. I don't... Everything seems the same. Roughly. I guess I should take the stuff that I took before. Yeah, all of the looking at the poem made me forget that we were still in danger. Oh god, I don't know what's happening. Oh, 
Oh, but this time there is something different. I was gonna say there is something different. Oh! It's earlier, we couldn't open this. Speech synthesis and natural language generation. Voice conversion technology enables synthesis systems to generate speech patterns based on their source or entirely new voices, without the need for exhaustive recordings and pre-processing. The quality of the resulting voice depends on the training data, as well as the precision of the conversion function and limitations in processing power. Okay... So you're saying that people can fake voices? Just like how earlier... Quiet. Just like how earlier I was wondering how the, the AI sounded superhuman. What does EO... Oh, end of message. I don't know. It's gone now. Even the fish is dead, it seems. I don't know. Oh my god. Oh my god. Patricia? Hello, Morgan. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. Okay, okay, this is a lot to handle. You're saying that yesterday, the stuff actually happened, but somebody put me back into my bed and try to pretend that nothing happened. Except it's not working so well because Patricia is dead. What the hell's going on? More importantly, look at Patricia. She doesn't look... That's not... I don't know why... I don't know why she looks like that. Okay, this is not the way to go. Is there a different way to go? This is all locked. Hmm. Ah. Ooh. Is there a hint for me? I feel like I've seen all there is to see, but maybe they, maybe I'm missing something. A stranger named January contacted me to say that I'm in danger and I need to escape my apartment. There's something about January's voice that's bothering me. Oh. We just looked at something about voice synthesis. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, in any case, I need to... Mm. Okay, I can carry her body. That's not necessary though. More importantly, I need to... I need to get out of here. So it's not this door. It's not that door. And there are no other doors. Is it the balcony? Hey, the prompt is gone. Am I missing something really stupid here? Wait. Can I use the wrench on the balcony? Whoa! Oh my god! Wait... What? That's real? Oh... My god. Nobody brought me home. Nobody brought me home. This is not my home. Can I break this? I thought that was a little bit weird. How come there was no prompt there? Oh! Should I go through here or the other place? January? 
Good. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. Oh my god. What happened? The last thing we saw... Some... Black... Goop... Got the guy. And then they sedated me. Sound stage rules. Absolute silence when simulation is in progress. Do not enter stage unless in costume. Do not interact with the subject off script. Sound stage A reminders. Always reset the position of stage props in apartment after each test. Replacements for damaged props can be found in the storage area. Be careful not to bump glass when in observation zones. Oh my god, sound stage B. The helicopter ride looking glass sequence should only be reset in the overlooking control room. Make sure to clear the rooftop of any stray objects during the simulated flight. Always return the helicopter to its ready position after being serviced. How many times have I gone through the same thing here? The test started when we woke up. Simulation labs. The one thing that was different though was Alex's message that I'm in danger right now. Hmm. Maybe he snuck that in because I'm pretty sure my brother wouldn't want me to die. L Luckies? How do I turn this on again? Oh, okay. I got a light. Don't mess with me. Oh my god. You are joking. You are joking. Oh fuck! Oh, what the freaking hell? Wait, what was that? Was that an object? I don't... I'm too nervous to say anything, okay? I'm just gonna keep this light on permanently. <laughs> oh, we can go this way. Okay, let's look at the other way first. Because I think the other way will go back to where the balcony was. Oh my god. My heart can't handle this. Nobody's here. So what happened was the test was running, but something went very wrong and now everybody's gone and they just kind of ditched me here. Utilities, one. Oh my god, they logged everything I did. February 22nd! Wait, the year! The year is different entirely. It's like three years into the future. Wow. Is it okay for me to be reading emails like this? Nothing's gonna jump up behind me, right? Okay. From Bellamy to Evelyn. Daily tests. If you've been on branches of our main product line, you know that sometimes we need to put in extra effort to hit our milestones, and any external risks are fully taken into account when these decisions are made. The move to extend indefinitely was a direct request from both Alex and Morgan. Sylvain Bellamy. Oh, the original mess. Shit! <laughs> okay, good thing they didn't break the monitor for me. That's not what I wanted to do. Dr. Bellamy, at this point, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That's to say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant Neuromod installation and removal. Tell me again why we've extended the testing indefinitely? I'm a lab rat. They've been taking... What? The move to extend indefinitely was a direct request from both Alex and Morgan. So apparently I agreed to this. The, the mod being taken in and out again and again. 
So far, though, I still don't know what the mod does. A note about this morning from Alex. All, I know this morning's incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Ms. Elazar and her security team are on high alert and will field any requests you have. I know some of you are worried about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently being treated in the trauma center and is in critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience and dedication to this project. So, so that's what happened to that guy earlier. He's okay, he's not dead. Everyone sounds okay right now, but they've just kind of left me here for some reason. Aren't I important? Don't you need to care about me a little bit too? Oh my god. 